Hi and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh to all the listeners. My name is Roslida binti Abdul Rahman and I am representing my group with Ni Aziati binti Ni Ja'far from Commerce Department, Polytechnic of Kota Baru. Our topic is Guidelines to Become an Effective Presenter. The first thing to the guideline is know your subject. Don't try to impress the audience with something you don't know. Knowing your topic is half the battle. Knowledge gives you the authority. An audience wants you to be smarter and to know more than they do. Next, practice. Ask yourself the toughest and meanest questions you can think of. Be your own adversary. If you don't know the answers to these questions, find them. Number three, take a voice lesson. If you don't like the sound of your own voice, think of all those people who have to listen to you and they have to endure. Pause the while after speaking and let the toughest settle in. Number four, take an acting lesson. Learn how to stand, move, pause and command the room. You don't have to worry because most people with a little coaching can pick up some of these skills. Be kind to your listeners. Do not use your hands during the presentation unless to stress an important point. Let the words do the work and not your hands. Number five, speak out. Of course, speak out. 50% of the people in any audience have some sort of hearing loss. Make people listen to you by having your voice swallow up the room with command. Speak loudly and vary your tone. Number six, be a storyteller. Always start your presentation by saying, I want to tell you a little story. It might be anything and everything. It might be about your baby streaming last night. It might be about your bus ride to work. People may not remember what you said in your speech, but they will remember your story. And yes, it's fine to make them up as long as you are not telling untrue story about specific people or everything. Number six, be a storyteller. Always start your presentation by saying, I want to tell you a little story. It might be anything and everything. It might be about your baby screaming last night. It might be about your boss right to work. People may not remember what you said in your speech, but they will remember your stories. And yes, it's fine to make them up as long as you are not telling untruths about specific people. Last but not least, be yourself. More important than anything else is to be real and to know yourself. If you are not, your flaws will be magnified by your presentation. Do not boost. Avoid personal pronouns. Be magnanimous. Thank other people, including your host or introducer. Be humble and even if you are a poor presenter, people will miraculously choose your idea over others just because you seem real and honest to them. Sometimes it is even good to say you are nervous and would appreciate the passions of the audience. 
love your audience be genuinely glad to be there and they will return the favor to you Thank you for listening. We hope that this video may give an impact to all of us. Till we meet again, bye-bye and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.